Hey ladies, it's Chatty V here and I'm coming to you with another wig review. So if you're interested in this cutie here, then stay tuned, sis. Stay tuned. Don't miss it, okay? Mm -mm. Let's go. Come on. Hey cuties. Hey girl, hey, this is Chadney B here and I'm coming to you with this beauty here. So let's go ahead and get right down to the specs. This hair was sent to me from Luna Wigs on Amazon. I will make sure that I post the information down below in the description bar. So be sure to check that out in case you are interested in this wig and unit. It is called their Maylene, Maylene wig m-a-y-l-e-n-e -E. the color is dr27 yeah that's all on that this is a full colored wig besides the roots pretty much dark root going into the 27 color let me just take it off so let me go ahead and show you how the cap looks there is no combs in the front and there is only adjustable straps in the back I will say though, once I put it on my head, um, it was still pretty snug. If you would like to sew you in some combs, then you can do so, girlfriend. Me, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not doing it. This is how long the hair is. Let's slap this bad boy back on my head. And yes, I know, I have a wig cap. I'm not putting it on right now because it's too hot in Houston to be doing that. So I can really appreciate the fact that she is layered. As you can see, it's layered, kind of framing the face. It's getting tangled just a little bit. Um, it is also shedding just a little bit lightly on me. So here's the shedding, if you can see it a little bit. But I don't like to comb these units, uh, especially these synthetic units. I try to keep it at a minimum where, where I'm manipulating and playing with it so much because it's synthetic sis. She doesn't necessarily feel synthetic. She feels more on the light yakky side. Here is the length that she comes to. So she comes a little bit past my boo. I like the fact that it is kind of full in the face part and then it kind of goes down to more of a thinner, natural kind of slack. I know we're in the age of like four, five, six, ten bundles, but sis, I'm not going to ever join that team. I don't need that much hair. I want it to look as natural as possible and like let's send us on out the door. So let's test it out. So of course we've seen the middle part. Um, you can lay some baby hairs. You can put a little bit of concealer, which is what I did. I didn't pluck it, but I did put a little bit of concealer there. Um, and yeah, you can lay some baby hairs, honey, and customize it the way you want. For these purposes, I have not customized it at all because I want to show you how it looks with the left side, right side, or middle to see what pertains to you and what you would like. Let's see how it looks as a side part on each side because everybody ain't middle part, girls. You know, some of us are sidebar girls. Taking out the customization fact of the part and the baby hairs. This is how she looks from the side, if you wear her to the side. Or if you wanted to push this one back and have this one for it, then you can do that. You know, everybody wear their hair different. You might catch me wearing it this way when I first come into the place. And by the time I left, girl, that mug is a middle part. Do you hear me? <laughs> Just depends. I don't know. Just depends on how I'm feeling, okay? I can switch up in the middle of this thing. So. I'm just trying to give you ideas here. So yeah, this is how it looks if you put it to the side, which is, I, I, I kind of like it to the side. Like this is pretty cute. Let's switch it to the other side. So yeah, this is the opposite side. Get you some um, scissors, cut you some baby hairs out, get you some flat irons, and go on about your business and your day. Some people like that look, but yeah, no. I would probably rock it a little bit like this. So yeah, um, I love the length on this hair. I love the color, it's very, very pretty. Um, for those people who want to try out color but just not into those crazy colors, which I like crazy colors too, no, no shade, no tea, no shade, okay? Don't come for me in my comments. I do think that with 
the type of person that I am, I like to kind of still keep it on the natural safe side at times, especially when it comes down to business or um, most of my outfits don't really go with crazy looking hair. So this gives you a little bit of color, but still within those natural shades and natural tones that uh, normal hair colors would be. So I think that this shade kind of pretty much fits every skin tone, whether you are light complexion or dark complexion, um, fair, whatever complexion that you are, I feel like it, it will still work for you. So kudos to the color. Yeah, kudos to the layering. Like look at that layering. That is perfection and I didn't do it. It came that way. Yep. Length is a plus. Shipping was fast. Communication was fast. I received it before I moved to Houston. Y'all know the deal. The cap is big head friendly. That's a plus as well. The cons would be the con for most synthetic wigs. It is shedding a little bit more than what I would like. And it is tangling just a little bit at the ends, but it's nothing that is not manageable considering the fact that it is a synthetic wig. I do plan on wearing this. Um, I do have a date night that's coming up. So I would probably wear this on my date night. Also, even though it's long, it is still lightweight. It's not consuming me. It's not too much hair. Again, I'm not the person to put 10,000 bundles in my head. It looks very natural. I like it. I am in Houston. It's 100 and something degrees weather. So that is now becoming a factor in the wigs that I am choosing. Whether it be a short wig or a long wig, I still want it to be breathable. So this hair is still thin enough, but still looks full to where I'm not going to burn to Chris. Again, I want to thank Luna Hair for sending me this wig. Do you have this wig? If you do have this wig, what color do you have it in? How long did it last for you and stay up for you? How did you like it? You know all the questions I'm going to ask because I like when you talk to me because I talk back. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. So I have Houston videos getting the rest of my place together as you can see I'm still in that empty room guys just being able to travel and um, discover Houston and everything that it has to offer one-on-one -on -one videos things of that sort on why I made the move that I made chat times all types of stuff um, videos with my family as far as vlogging of course more wig videos and of course I am a nail tech so I will be sure to start including nail tutorials and things of that sort if you are ever in the Houston area and you're interested in getting dipped my brand is the dip life so if you are ever in the Houston area and you're interested in getting your nails done, then please be sure to follow me on my nail page. It is at The Dip Life on Instagram. If you have any questions or concerns with like to book or for any pricings, you can visit www.thediplife.com. For my personal that are interested in my wigs and more of lifestyle, please visit me and follow me on my personal Instagram, which is at the real underscore Chatney B. I will make sure I post all the information down below. Guys, if there are any more wigs that you're interested in, that you're scared to try out and you would like to see how it looks, hit your girl up. I'm gonna tell you the truth because I love you, I love you, I love you. In the meantime, in between time, be sure to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, what? You can't come back to see me, child. And that is just not fair. Like, show me where it's fair for you to not come and see me. Oh, I can't come and see you. No, no, no. Okay. Take care of yourself. Pinky promise I will do the same. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.